Right, um, welcome to my uh, round of 16 match up against Sindane uh, with his Orcs. And uh, yeah, commentary is from Skuro and Elkmeme. It's going to be pretty tough, but I shall do my best. Right, thanks for taking over, guys, so I can try hard. All right, hello, Elp. Hello, good luck, Jimmy. I think we got PC lurking somewhere in the booth as well to join no, us. I don't see him anywhere around here. I just, I think, I think he's not here. He's like fucked off. Oh, hey, Calcium, how you doing? I, uh, I have indeed reserved a seat for this, uh, this special game. Excited to be here. Absolutely. Uh, Pre-game shenanigans are dealt with. The, um, the orcs will have. <laughs> Uh, a wizard against them, despite the cutting from both sides. Listen, this game boils down to one thing and one thing only, and we all know it. Will Mr. Throw's passing game outduel the Elves' uh, SPP farming passing, vanity passing game? That's what we're all sitting here on a Sunday to see, and I think that's what we're going to get. You certainly hope so. We've got to see as well. Is Jimmy going to level the movement 10 in this game? Because uh, he's only five SPP or four SPP away from, from leveling up. Shivite, uh, the uh, the chalice runs by somewhat Byzantine rules. Uh, they call it financial fair play, meaning the underdog can only add a maximum of 40k on top of whatever their inducement package is. You cannot spend more than 40k. So the shenanigans pregame was about ensuring that uh, James James was uh, within 40k of having a wizard available, so that he could scum a wizard. Which I say he scum, has done. You know, yep. Rent. Yeah. <laughs> it's One a pejorative only, term. No I don't, returns. Yeah, it's a pejorative term. I don't agree with such nonsense. What scumming? It's allowed by the rules. It's allowed by the rules. Yeah, it's, I think it's because you, it's not supposed to be allowed. It's not written in the tabletop rules, right? I think no. there's. Yeah, I think it's a cyanide thing rather than a. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, but I mean the, the the general purposes of, of scumming. I mean, we had a I had a instigated similar rules when I was running the tournaments on Fumble. You have to have a some sort of a playing field that people understand. Yeah. The big one with us was who cut first and who cut second because people were continuously trying to get inducements on each other. Which they doesn't seem to have been um... as much of an issue here. We just simply said whoever was larger has to declare themselves ready first. <laughs> and then the smaller team gets to sort of ready themselves second. But then we had a, a post game and ready for game state that cyanide doesn't have yeah well you know i mean it's really not a fair comparison though fumble is a a far superior and advanced uh computing format for hosting blood bowl games than um, i'd know, say the front end it's got is, to work with i'd say i'd say the front end is more sophisticated it, it amazes me they didn't just do that which is steal <laughs> the front end of fumble and put a decent client yeah it. more I mean, to my point a bit yeah but, you know, more to my point to build that and get him to build your front end yeah, more to my point, Cyanide has no excuses here. <laughs> no. There was a working model. Well, let's be honest. If we look at the look at the rules, they're incredibly poorly written. Uh, Cyanide, yeah. obviously, not a native English <laughs> development <laughs> studio either. So there's a fucking well, lot of scope I, I, I for. Think, I think you're mistaken in thinking they give a shit about the rules. <laughs> um, in terms of playability, what they care about is does it shift paint and miniatures? Are they things that people want to look at and paint? That's and not what that, Cyanide need... is aiming for. They do need some players. Cyanide? No, Cyanide actually you want to shift. Yeah, just want to shift computer games. Yeah. Science, and they fucked that up because uh, yeah, you get them for free, don't you? Well, they, don't under, <laughs> they didn't seem to understand the um, the nature of Blood Bowl players. Yeah, I mean, it's people that obs obsessively spend ages painting little figurines to make them look how they want, give them little names and all of that sort of stuff. Exactly. Uh, they could have done so much more, and hopefully Blood Bowl 3 does it, because that's the way they'd make money, and obviously, as players... Well, I mean, and absolutely, I hope so. I want you know all Blood Bowl clients to be successful versions and do well, and the more money, the more players, the better for Blood Bowl. That's all good news. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how so you I want don't, to I don't resent them doing it. Oh, it's all just blood bomb. I don't give a shit about that sort of thing. And there, there, and there it is. The classic. Jim starting his drive. Turn zero with ten players. Yeah. Orcs piling on, doing well. Bit of a theme for today so yeah. far. Yeah. Oh, picked up the ball, didn't he? Kick off return. I don't know if he caught it off the kick off return, but... Yeah. Here we go. Jim's got a rev of the storm here. Hope the LOS stands up. Hey, that one does hold up for him. 
Now, of course, this is going to be slightly different. I mean, not only is Pom gone, but uh, lying down players are very alphable over the top of in the new rule set. Mm. Right now, of course, quite an effective barrier. That, that area of the pitch is just not available. There's another bang. Ducky is KO'd. Oh, no. Down to nine. <laughs> yep, well. Troll hit to come. It's uh, it's very orc infested this uh, this chalice at the moment. I was kind of hoping these elves were going to do something about it, but that's two down out of four. That's one still to come. I wonder what happened in CCR to allow these orc teams to develop like this. They don't often come to the playoffs this. Well, well, it was interesting. There also today. wasn't particularly strong chaos and nurgles this season. There were, I mean, there were a couple of really good ones, but they seemed to get big early. I think the orcs came up underneath afterwards. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because when, when people stop that playing race as much, teams, they? Yeah, when there isn't as much claw around, orcs can really thrive. I mean, as you saw earlier, I mean, I cannot coach my best with some fairly small dwarves against them, but they just had all the same as me, but bigger. And that's yeah, that game difficult. that game was just a slow burn to a PC loss there. It wasn't really much you yeah. were doing wrong with it. Well, I didn't oh. feel there was much I could do differently. Now, what they need... Yeah, you see, that's... I didn't worry about leaving that elf there. There are... Is there ways to chain it anywhere interesting? interesting? I don't yeah. think so. Bit of a reprieve Ooh. there with the with the very stupid saving a hit that Jim desperately did not want to have to take. So now the now, question all... here is: Does he flood down and just try and turn over quick with that wizard and score, or does yeah. he protect his team? Well, there are ways down this field, but he's got to worry that he's already short of elves. Yep. And it's going to be a huge investment to try and get enough elves between where this ball is and where the line of scrimmage pack of death is. He could go through the black or could he not? What, the one on the, the right? Yeah, well I'm seeing the, the two tackles yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You might. Yeah. I mean, also, certainly controlling those two down dogs seems valuable. They're not jump up, so they do have limited movement. I did look at this through the middle, but it's some threes and twos. Well, he has the next, get an assist in, bang, sprint down, but it's... Yeah, this has to be done as a one die, I think, and if it does, it opens up the whole field. I like it if it works. Well, here I mean, he he's goes. got he rest the two elves in a nice defended position. Oh, he's putting the assist in like that. Okay, that's really oh, nice. Instant yeah, no, that re -roll opens, burn. Them, opens them all up. Oh, look at the one in nine. Punishment Very, for it. Yeah, unfortunate there. He's but committed, he can, uh, he's yeah, he given can, himself that hole, and he does yep. have a gaping hole. Flooding yeah, elves hole into been... the backfield. Here come the boys. But, you know, he could be playing into Sindane's hands here. Mr. Throw, one of the most accomplished throwers on the pitch right now. <laughs> with true. that accurate. Yeah. I mean, you gotta you got to watch out for that passing play. There's it's a couple a fucking... of unmarked black orcs down there that are just waiting for that ball. He just fires lasers, you know. Um... <laughs> The real question yeah. here is, is Fan Fox. How how hard is Jimmy prepared to throw him under the bus? His last playoffs, he was pretty oh, fucking liberal with okay. his movement guy, wasn't he? I mean, he could have tagged up the Orc there. The one with the... Oh, the Orc. The, uh, the tackle blodge blitzer that would have really... I don't, really I don't, I don't think he does throw. that. That's a, that's a bit too in harm's way. Maybe the blodge step could have done that on the GFI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's going to come through one of those, you'd have thought. You know, this is an interesting position that Sindane's team puts him in, where half of his uh, fastest players end up on their backs every turn uh, yes. with the double pile on. So, I mean, that's not going to happen every turn, obviously. But I was kind of wondering, I was like, how are the Orcs feeling like they're outnumbered right now? And it's because <laughs> two, two of them yeah, put themselves are. on their asses. I mean, there's a very straight route up the center, but it's about how many go for it and where you're building some form of cage. Okay. Yeah, he's going to rely on the troll. Yep. Well, this... This, uh, this might this be begging for a safe. wizard. This doesn't look safe at all. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I've, some, I've seen some abstract ball protection in my time, and I... <laughs> don't think this meets the criteria. Oh dear! Uh, oh, where is he going over on that right wing? Well, he wing? did flick. You may notice he did flick the GFIs. Like first of all, the first thing he did with Orc Thrower was flick some GFIs on. Yeah. So it's going to be a risky play, I think. 
Well, anywhere he goes, it's a risky play to It's going to be hit with the Black Hawk, get the guy down. Mr. Fro runs down, throws him. This feels like Sindane might have underestimated High Elves in, as opposed to maybe what you wouldn't do against like a Wood Elf team. Uh, really getting getting himself yeah. into trouble up He's... two players. <laughs> it's the beauty of, of the AV8 is that you can. Yeah. You don't want to do it all game, but you can take a turn or two of being hit and expect to get back up. Yeah. And suddenly they're very frozen into a bad shape. I was, I was amazed that the Black Orc that's moved already went into the position he did. It looked like he was forming a nice, moderately unsafe pocket. Jim's got him completely flummoxed right now, it feels. He backed yeah, out of it. his little tendrils out of the movement. Settle for a palm, yeah, nice simple palm. <laughs> oh, just a push. Bad, 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 uh, bad blocks this turn for Sindane too have helped wow. him out a little bit here. Yeah, this is. <laughs> That's probably true. Hey, now he's got a back to thinking about where the ball's gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Z. Um. Oh dear. I mean, the problem is that any way you go, screams fireball me now. Yeah, Jim will be hesitant to use a fireball though. I, know, I mean, we all know what's gonna happen when he does. Why is he so insistent upon getting behind the Black Orc? Is it because he's got the guard and it would be a negative 2D to... I don't really know. This doesn't look safe. No, it sure doesn't. Guys, it's 70% I mean, There's, a, there's right, an all it? left to move. We can sort of tighten it up a bit. Yeah. You got it. So oh, now, interestingly, Jim, That's... Jim for, for his developed high elf team, does not have any edge five that I can see. Well, that's no, a, no that's, a, one, that's, a that's a one die without trying yeah. at all. Accurate one. assessment. I don't want to distract Jim from the game, but you should probably tell him to don't commentate on the game. You'll do my boys out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> They've already told my audience that. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Instant 2D. Yeah. <laughs> um, El Duderino, I, I meant that because the early Nurgle records were so strong and so dominant, no one else really seems to feel there was any point in chasing them. And I can now be resolutely on your side. Spoiler. And uh, yeah, Jim not getting the dice he wanted on the, the that ball hit there. No. Nope. I don't think he can fabricate these, another 2D because of the guard. These are still in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is the one thing Jim's team really lacks, though. I, I mean, a second guard would be so useful. Yeah. So that you've got one on each side of the field to really get them where you want. Usually on a two plus because elves. <laughs> Nothing but pushes for this turn for Jim. <laughs> and now he's got to worry a little bit here about the orcs kind of punching their way through and getting a cage in Jim's half. Yes, though prioritizing a good shape didn't seem to be very high on the agenda last turn. So. <laughs> To some degree, you know, getting up in their faces makes some sense. There's still a couple of very controlled orcs here. Yep. Hello, Lean Gary. But clearly Jim's thought the same. And just backed <laughs> off enough cover that there's something to fight through. Tell him you are unlucky. <laughs> Jim, oh boy. If you get it's... in chat, game mate, you've got to say you're unlucky. Like, completely buy into his sort of upset. Uh, the dice gets Jim. Out. You're unlucky, mate. Never talk in chat, Jim. Never talk in chat. Oh, he's good. He's prepared for this game. He had a rest. He went outside. Never We're all good. This is chat. the Orcs drive. We're fucking golden. Two rerolls down. Not great, but. Two rolls is... down, too. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, when we put it like that, yeah. I mean, there's no other way to put it, but... Yeah, they're only knocked out, though. And those yep. can come just, you know, straight back. And certainly if there's two rolls on them, they can. 
There's still a whiz in hand Ooh. if the shape gets out of shape again, but yeah, it did look does look like this sort of feint is a bit yeah. over unless he completely screws the positioning up again. He didn't pile, which means he's probably thinking about positioning. It, yep, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, sort of loosely so. This one, yeah, this one doesn't help build a cage. Might as well pile. Wait for it. <laughs> Very, it's a very pose. American, uh, American take, J5. Oh. oh, speaking of Lean Gary, who just arrived in chat to see himself off the pitch. Yeah, no, unfortunately now, those... Those numbers are probably going to add up to Jim not really getting a, a better hit shot on that ball without risking a wizard that he probably doesn't want to spend this half now. Yeah, this might be getting towards runaway point. Yep. Yep. Certainly, I don't think we're going to do Jimmy see anything, do anything, yeah, see Jimmy do anything that jeopardizes. Uh... the lovely uh, Funt Fox. Agreed, Doug. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, we're not at the um, fuck yeah. I need to play balls yeah. to the wall yeah. yet, are we? No, if I you wanted to get the turnover the with a wizard, wizard I think yeah. I think that was the, probably the best opportunity yeah. you're going to have. Yeah. Um, Better to have it now, though, than not, I think. Yeah, probably so. I mean, um, obviously. <laughs> That's the nothing statement. <laughs> <laughs> better to have a wizard than not in general you yeah know? all things considered you know yeah. all things considered yeah if we're right not now, splitting man, hairs here right now of the eight elves uh, only one of them is in front of the ball so that's the problem that needs some urgent attention i don't know i don't know maybe that shot was there and against the team this bashy you know, perhaps just needed to try and take that initiative early and then you can just avoid them, and if it's 1-1 one, one at the half, that's fine. You just stay alive in the second half. Do a withdrawn offense, which we know Jimmy would love to do. <laughs> so an early whiz, steal the ball. I, th I thought that had some merit. Push is continuing for Jim here. Push City population Jim. Yeah. <laughs> and the York's going to be soaking this up. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Copy and J5 there. Yeah, yeah. I just I, I think more I think more what Dog was saying is, of of what we're looking at on the board, the only turn to wizard was last was last turn. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I mean, I I still liked it. I, I know that the advantage was there. You had lots of dice on the ball, but if the ball's already on the ground, then all you got to work out is how to get an Nail. elf onto it. Yeah. Um, and that's a better situation still. So I would have tried to turn that advantage to my further advantage. Because if I score on their drive, like I said, I can just run away and they score fine. Who cares? Have a little go at the one turn at the end of the first half. Possibly go in 2-1, possibly 1-1. One, one. Either way, all I've got to do is survive the second half and score. And a lot of time I'm not trying to get on top of or control orcs. Which, I mean, Jimmy is now deciding not to do, I think. He's having a sort of loose attempt, but he's not going to put himself at risk like he has been three elves down already. Although two should be back. Should you know? Yeah, I'm with you on that, Doug. Yeah. No, I think it was a judgment call. Ultimately, it's very strong if he can stay alive to come into the overtime one-one with a wizard in hand. Oh, tackle doing a thing oh, here. Tackle manual. Oh, oh my oh. good lord. Frosty. And the Apo, well, it didn't really help him. Yes. <laughs> Chances are that elf won't see uh, won't see a Blood Bowl pitch again, but we will see. Early and the GG early from Jim. GG this is out. good. This is Turn good. four. All right, that could really shift We're the momentum here. Yeah, absolutely. We so are. It's, a, it's a Hail Mary, isn't it? The early GG. Uh, this is as early a GG as you get from Jim in a game he's not conceding out of. I mean, the fact is that Jim's at, at max 10 elves now. 
I think that's where he needs to focus, get the hell out of these orbs way. Oh, yeah. They've got two what stand a... firm, so he, you know his near natty is probably not going to be quite enough. Yeah. Nice. I don't know, you see these these like scouting movements, those are the moves of a desperate man. He knows he's been GG'd. <laughs> now this is where piling on really does come into its own. Yeah. And you've already dominated the team. Uh, and it just doesn't really matter if you can bang some more out. I don't know why he's moving more people back. You, you chase Jim down now. Sure, well, a couple of people to look after the ball. And oh, you there just is a wizard. go banging. There, there is a wizard. Yeah, there is a you wizard. Can't, can't leave the ball unattended against an elf in your backfield and then a bunch of scoring threats. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Only, it only takes one elf to nick a ball that's been wizarded. Yep. Throw it off to any of the other elves, and that's, you know, 1-0. He has a DP, but it's bench coffee. Yeah, that'll be that'll be that'll be Jim's second half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think is is facing uh, endless amounts of fouls from the orcs. Now this is some interesting psychological warfare here. I mean, obviously a fireball screams in some ways here, but you just can't because no. the, you'd need to get the ball down and at least two, if not three, yeah. of the orcs near it. Yeah, if you, you only have got a one to come in and try and fetch yeah. it, and it's really unlikely, and it would just waste your wizard. No. You just got to protect your team here. Yep. And that's what he's going to do. He's just going to blitz and run. Yeah, the elf he's left back there, there's no mighty blow in range of. This one poor fucker. <laughs> He's just got to get him out of palm range. Yeah, there's three elves on the pitch that Jim really doesn't want to lose. Do you start fouling? If you're the orc guy, do you start fouling with the unskilled blitzer? Um, or maybe the wrestle kick lineman. Uh, sorry, wrestle tackle. Probably not. I'm in control of the game. I'm in control of numbers. I've got a dirty player for the second half. Um... I think probably not. The only ones you'd really want to foul are the three that Jim is keeping out of blitz range. I don't know. He's like down on, what is it, two off the pitch permanently? Or am I... Yeah, so he's at max, max 10 elves, and that's if yeah. the 2k would recover. And the orcs are, only on that at, is... orcs are only at 12, and the problem is if you foul, then you've got no bench. Yeah, you might as well wait until that DP can foul and get himself sent off. Yeah. Fouling one of the ones you really want dead. Yeah. Which are the three that you can't currently hit. I mean, the guard's sort of all right. But there just isn't a tackle mighty blow in range of it. There's a tackle in range of it. Well, yeah. Uh, I guess I should have used the wizard, you know. But never mind, of course. I couldn't fucking power Mr. Throw too powerful. And now it's, now it's basically over. Woo! Flip me, guys. Mr. Frank, Flip me. Powerful. Jim, Jim, Jim dropped the early GG though, so anything can happen. We've seen that at matches before. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. He needs to stop losing elves, but uh, and yeah, get these yes, he does. three elves back on the KO rolls. But he's still got his own drive and a wizard, and it is a three-half game if needs be. Four elves on the pitch. And there's more than that, isn't there? On the ground. Hmm. Yeah, yes, Coffee, they from... do have a DP. It's on the bench. Yeah, take it from Calcium, who knows a thing or two about losing sure thing games. An early GG. Never underestimated. Anyone can it. lose a game of Blood Bowl. Yeah. Especially Calcium Kaz in the SFL finals. <laughs> 
Right, now there's still so much in this half left. Is there any chance of too many Orcs getting tempted forwards? I mean, backwards. Because the field is now officially reversed. Sorry, say that again, PC. Is there any chance that the Orcs push too many forwards? I mean, there are still three turns left after this. Yeah, I don't know. I, <laughs> I think given where Jim's at, trying to keep his team alive, I, I can't imagine a situation in which Jim spends his wizard uh, in this situation. No, I just I wonder if all the elves come piling down one flank this turn. Maybe. I mean, he's got he's got the goat. He's, he's got the one reroll to kind of go for it. I mean, that's Might nice. Not the the I mean, there's not that many of them left back there now. Uh, yeah. No, he's doing vanity passes. Brilliant. That's just a handoff. Yeah, but he's scoring on the right elf. That's yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of disrespect there. No, I think it's just run away to a yeah. Use the. Uh, yeah, no, I agree with calcium here. I think. Uh, I think that wizard, if it gets used at all, it'll be on turn 16 for, for shits and giggles or in overtime at this point. Yes. Unless there's a, an emergency and he, and he needs it to score. But Jim Jim should not have a problem scoring on these orcs. It's just a matter of whether he can also yeah. grind the clock It's it's, it's when he decides to score. Yeah, yeah turn 16, fireball his own elves. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, if anyone does feel like um, you know they want to make a cup of coffee or something, my advice is uh, stick with it through the half time because the KO rolls are very, very vital. <laughs> yeah. um, first turn or so of the second half, uh, I'd hang around for that. Between turns sort of two and four, maybe five, that's the time you want to pop makes up a cup of coffee. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's going to be a, there's going to be a lot of da da dacking or withdrawing to start the second half. I'll, th I think the most exciting part of the game is about to come on turn eight here for Jim, seeing if he can get a one turn off against two stand firm. Yeah, he can't. Gonna struggle with <laughs> even less elves. <laughs> oh, yes. boy. Spoiler alert, Skuro, he can't. <laughs> I mean, he's already capped at nine, and that's if all three <laughs> KOs come back. Yeah. That's not enough no. against uh, two stand firm. Yep. Hey, I didn't say I didn't say it was going to be a uh, a, a a great viewing thing. I just said it was going to be the most exciting part of this game. Well, who can stop the tide of green? Is El Dudorino our only hope? Well, I think Christopher's got these orcs next. Yeah, uh, most, Christopher as well, likely. of course. And I think Christopher would probably rather face the orcs than he would uh, Jim's elves, to be completely honest. I'm sure. I mean, these are not actually. I mean, they've had a lot of nice dice so far. These are not actually that great at all, team. I think the one that I faced was slightly stronger built, although they're both, you know, very strong. As are the ones that El Dudorino faces. There are three very, very strong all teams. Not going to be a Well, to start, slightly lower than you'd want, of course. You'd really want one and a half elves back. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't happening. Uh, just uh, uh, do just... you just put him on the uh, on the sideline flank and hope for a quick snap? Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yes, <laughs> pretty yes, much. Absolutely, that's the best bet. That or a riot. So you just put one holding down the central three, and then you overload one flank, as you say. The right flank yeah. is the natural one. You being invited up that way. And you hope for a quick snap or a riot? Nice little shape there. It looks like. A... Um, it's very pretty. It, it's yeah, it's pretty. That's what, doing, that's what I'm remarking it's not doing on. Doing a yeah. lot, but yeah. yeah. Is I mean, he? I mean, Mackline's more defense, isn't it? 
the stand firms and the central guy is a, a great uh, yeah, the two yeah, one yeah. behind uh, necessary if you really want to stop the dodge in uh, the two in behind that so the whole central sort of uh, seven it is very strong to stop any um, pushing shenanigans just wondering Although, if there's a way to use one of those second on layer both of the second layer ones um, that's why the other two are there the outliers is to stop yeah. you getting around and pushing them dub onto a, a pile of elves so it's very difficult to do that but what this shape doesn't do of course is um, is protect the wing at all in case of a quick snap or riot so you might be working for the push if he had enough, I mean, I, I did something not dissimilar against Core, and he had one rat too many. If either the ball had been kicked far enough away that it had to be a throw, but the ball carrier was able to fetch and fill a spot, or the KO hadn't come back. Jim spotted something here. Well, Just fucks him if he gets a quick snap, doesn't it? No. No. Yeah, he's got to do a lot of dodging. He's going to have to do a lot of, lot of dodging anyway. No, if I mean, he just looking put him on the a, side He's looking at it. I think he's still looking at a six into a two red to get it. Yeah, I think push. he is. I think he is is looking at that. Whereas I think the quick snap... against tackle, no, no less. But yeah, he wouldn't I'm, have to if he put the movement ten I'm on the actual sideline sideline. Side side line. The, but think, when the quick snap uh, is just one forward. Yeah, exactly. I think the quick snap is probably better odds. Quick snap and riot added together. Now, <laughs> instead, I think he's just going to lose his uh, his one turner. Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what really this game needed. This probably means at least what I mean. Yeah. There we go. Pile it on. Pile it oh, on. All day and yeah, half the night. Yeah. Piling. He's, ooh, probably still piling on. Yeah. He's really thinking about. Oh, that's that's low test. Oh. I mean, yeah. you can't and shouldn't. It just wouldn't fun, have amazed me. The funny thing is, if if that had gone, if that had gone slightly differently for him there, that could have. Um, oh no, he didn't. You know, he didn't have block. Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say if he got stuck on him there, he would have actually been helping him out <laughs> with the one turn, <laughs> but no, he wasn't. Right, well, what couldn't be done anyway still can't. And it much more can't. Jim's just going to hit that dirty player. Oh no, he's going to hit the black horn. Ooh, sounded crunchy. That's just my own unfamiliarity with York sounds. Oh, you hate to see it. This player is called Sindane as well. <laughs> Can't even make his fucking pass. Proper double agent here. Okay, he did it. Yeah, never mind. Well, oh, an SPP that could prove vital in the games ahead. <laughs> Maybe. Well, there's some KOs back for Jim at least. Two yep. out of three. Ain't bad. That's not bad. That's that was uh, for you, J5. In total, three out of six. Yeah, bang on 50 50. What more can you expect? So, as I said, you may want to just check he picks the ball up, but as long as he picks the ball up, <laughs> we're done for a few turns, okay? Yep. So, absolutely. You know, don't let the cakes burn. Go and see your kids. Stretch your legs. It can Hydrate. actually be interesting to watch how the defense responds to the DACA because there are various ways to do it. Uh, my personal preference is uh, what you did the other day, PC. And uh, was that Blitz Pit qualifiers that you did that in, where you just sat on yeah. the middle line there? Yeah, um, no, I, I was having a think about that. I mean, I, I don't hate it usually. But against Eldrill, it obviously doesn't work. So I was having a think, yeah. and I think that with a trap space, instead of keeping the two lines together, keep the two lines actually quite far apart, like maybe five to six spaces even. I'd have to have a think about exactly what race you're up against, so that when they yeah. take on the first line with Eldrill, they've then got quite a ways to go through to get to the second line. 
or at least they end up between the two lines, which wouldn't be a bad point to try and maybe attack them. So Doctor that's what feels... I'm having a think about. I mean, yeah. really, the defence against it needs to get thought through a lot more, and we will get a chance to be because the new rule set it's it screams out to do the withdrawn defence, the yeah. withdrawn offence even more. Um, Doctor feels bad. If you think anything other than a DACA isn't happening right now, yeah. I want whatever drugs you're on. <laughs> yeah, Doctor feels bad. He is dacking. Whilst you have a hole in your bottom, this this is this drive is getting dacked. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice of the Yorks to set up in such a way that um, a couple of elves can just walk away for free. Yeah, I'm quite yeah. surprised by that. I I mean, the problem with all many the LOS is that you almost certainly mean there is a way to break through and score quick. And with a wizard in <laughs> hand, he's got to slightly worry about that. <laughs> well, this well, is going to... Oh, the critical just nets in three LOS about. hits, doesn't it? Well, I mean, even if this goes down three and eight, that it just gets handed to someone anyway. So it's a terribly... Yeah. It's a good, really good kick. With the kickoff result. There we are. Doesn't catch it, but just gets handed to an elf. Has this changed? So you start looking forward, maybe? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no, he's going to fuck off. I think if he moves forward with this ball, we will be talking to him in about 22 minutes about how he goes, why didn't I fucking just DACA? <laughs> that has been his one biggest regret with Blood Bowl lately, isn't it? The times he hasn't DACA. Exactly. I mean, look, <laughs> it's exactly there's the There's a route. There's a way to score quickly here, yeah. but it needs a pow on two dice. I mean, you just control the blitzer, the unmarked blitzer, uh, to the diagonal right of the ball carrier, and then you blitz the other one, but you need to knock it over. And then you dodge off the black orc, orc and just potato down that flank. The other tacklers are too far away to get near you. He is but putting a lot of thought into this, though. No one can come after you. I mean, they can, but it's, you know, three plus two plus. Which is tricky, to put it mildly. I mean, the odds of it working are just not brilliant. Ooh, he's uh, he's going for it. Yeah, this is exactly what he's doing. Then. Well, I I guess uh, I guess I owe uh, I guess I owe Doctor Feels Bad a, a public and personal apology. Doctor Feels Bad, I, I apologize well. for insulting your intelligence. Not you, Elf. Fuck you. <laughs> you didn't actually insult my intelligence, so you just no, I know. Wow. I didn't insult this either. Now the blodge, the blodge guard tackle blitzer is in range. Although obviously it's strength three against strength four, so it's going to need an assist at least, if not two. So he does need to get some cover through. <laughs> well, bad news this. on that front. Not enough cover, I feel. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a line off in the line of scrimmage that's unmarked. The dirty player that can get there on one go for it. So there's one assist. You probably don't bother with the second. Yeah, the black orc goes in so that the rackle piece can move the elf. This turn plays itself. I mean, you can get the second. It's just tricky. involves a three plus but it might be worth doing because if not the elves score quickly and that's not the end of the world for the orcs no because it um, nets in the uh, free LOS hits immediately right and the yep. bits of course which yep. is massive 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 when you're already up this many men and if you can probably get them to score in two you've got seven turns to grind back and you're against the wizard, the wizard to be fair yeah, yeah the problem the is the wizard yep. I mean it's not terrible for Jimmy if he has to score quick because he does get another re-roll at that KO yeah. Yep. And at mm -hmm. least he goes to 1-1. One, one. I think a lot of that will be decided by these next couple hits on Elves. Appears to be off to a bad start. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, uh, the very worst case for Jim. 
the very best case is that he scores next turn. There's no way you can stall this up. No, certainly not. I mean, theoretically, there is. If the guy's moving for the ball, fail, he can blitz that one in midfield before running off to the other corner. Oh, that's a move five lineman, too. Jesus, you can't even support him. Not that it wow. matters. He's armored. doesn't through. even bother. <laughs> Just goes for the attrition and uh, make him score in two. Yep. Not. I don't know. I think you go for the GFI there, don't you? To base with the tackle. Sure, it's just a blitz and. I do. You do. Yeah. Um. Apparently not. Yeah. You like your two plus for the elves guaranteed two plus or a controlled blitz and. I'm mean, uh, fairly certain well, Jim said, isn't even at his computer right now because the camera hasn't moved in a while. <laughs> Uh, as I said, there is actually a, a solution here. If you want to stall, you just blitz through the uh, the orc in the centre of the field, and as long as you knock him over, you get over to the other side, and the other orcs can't get to you. Sindane takes wow. Sindane out. No respect for himself. Jim lost three players. Three players in the face of that. Out and out some squares here, considering the stall. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. No, not for very long. He's not. Yep, there it is. Needs a couple yeah, of KOs. I think he's got three KO it. rolls to make, right? He has. Get himself up. You think to what, he def seven? definitely needs two, doesn't he? Well, Less he made, he made the one. Got one. Two few elves. <laughs> ah. Six elves on the pitch. Yeah, that's probably not enough elves. A lot of blitz movement. Fucking ten. This has been, uh, if he, if Sindane connects, connects, uh, commits the full all men LOS, because you do in these situations, just bash usually. Glorious. No, I won't. For the full day of Russian or until I'm victorious. Jordan Milley, thank you for subscribing to Jimmy. Twenty-seven months. That's, I don't know, some beavers. I, what is yeah, it? some Four? beavers. Maybe yeah, some seven, seven beaver. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't care. The, I've never bothered doing the, the numbers to work out how many months are in the <laughs> I think someone said seven. I could be wrong. Maybe it's four. It's either four or seven, I think. Point Dude. being, thanks for subscribing to Jim. And, the rule uh, of one setup. Doing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a very good question. I are personally you still get blitz feel around the, back? <laughs> the route, yeah. I mean, I'd have put them one further apart to try and keep him safer. Uh, and I put the two catchers one step each to the right Take of that. Take off a turn. But, um, nearly. Nearly seven uh, beavers, then. Uh, I think if there is a route to winning this game for Jim, oh. it obviously revolves around the wizard. Uh, a terrible kickoff result for Jim. Yeah. Nothing helpful. And in fact, blows the ball onto the orc. I mean, every single hit. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should have just use the whiz early. Like, you know, that was the chance, wasn't it, with kicking? He was under he was under the cosh. I could have... I mean, But, you know, it was so easy to get 2D on the ball. But I guess I should have just done it on that turn. Or the turn after, when I had loads of players up here and a couple here, I could have still just hoped for a ducky fireball or, like, bolted and hoped for the... You know, the strength fall could have come around and dodged and hit, hit one of the Black Orcs. I, mean, I was really thinking about the wizard the turn after. And I probably should have done because without it, I was just running away and losing. You know, it's just inevitable, isn't it? Like, of course, there's four fucking cars in nine turns. Every hit's been a fucking K or a Kaz, of course. <laughs> How could it not be? I you spent do a good, know that uh, feeling, Jim. Yeah, you spent um, a good a good portion of the first yeah, half just pushing people around. So. I I think if you're the uh, orc, you don't bring the ball up that close. No. You see, plot out the movement. Yeah, you kill yeah. more elves. It's fine. Yeah. But thanks, okay, guys, yeah, you... for letting me concentrate on it for a bit, Shane. There wasn't much to concentrate on. <laughs> well, hold your hat, Jimmy. You might fucking be in it yet. Yeah, there's still, you know, several good elves on the field and a wizard. And the orcs have to be mindful of that, even if Jimmy isn't. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to jump in on this uh, faux enthusiasm. You're fucked, Jim. It's not. I'm your wizard, enthusiasm, your wizard you know? isn't putting anyone on his ass. <laughs> could happen. Oh, sure it's... could. Might yeah. there's gone. Doesn't pile. I do agree. I don't see any reason to bring this ball up this close, though. 
Yeah, this is uh, this, this is how you get back, back in the game. It's your gem. You just hope that he fucking does it. Back in the game might be a bit of a stretch, but look, you're opening the, the door. Like, right? You look at this from you a escape perspective, you're fucking golden. It's not yeah. great, but you, you can be okay. And these rats are, uh, sorry, yeah, these yeah. elves are close to being. Well, you are elves. I mean, uh, as elves, as long as you have two elves and a, a wizard, there's a, a chance somewhere. There's a chance. Oh, Just and stay alive. Good dice, okay. The good dice uh, might find you. I mean, Plus, hope he does the GFI. Stay. Fails. Five orc happen. fireball. What else are you going to do here? I think he's deliberately tempting that because I know, I know. Pretty, of course he is. Pretty, of course pretty he bleak. Is. Um, there is a way you could pick it up with the fast guy, run, throw it to the corner, win the running race to pick it up afterwards and score, but you have to survive through that turn and you need a lot of good things to go right. Oh, he doesn't know what to do. He's going fireball. He's going all in. Here we go. Yeah. That's two. Oh, it's, hey, you got all but the ones that matter. <laughs> and, uh, well, pretty good fireball. I'll that is a godlike fireball. Now he's just got to work out how to hit that ball, knock it over. Not a blodge piece, just needs to get one to two dice on it. And then the quick elf has to get in there, and the other two have to do some screaming. Easy. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, not easy. A three, three, two to blitz the ball. You've Might be doing it with Got dodge on them all. Yeah. Come on, Jim. He is doing it with Russell. So, but then Get the recovery. Yeah, you sort of fill that square you need, which is. Yeah. The problem is recovering it now. I mean. I felt it had to be that the strength four on a three three two. Now you do your low, YOLO movement all the way through, right? Uh, the reroll's gone. Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Oh, I was missing an orc, of course. It's a four three two. Yeah, that's tough. All right, sorry about that. I got a phone call. It looks like the ball did hit the ground, but not in an elf's hands after all that. No, the fireball took four down, stunning one, and knocking the ball carrier down. Uh, no, everyone except the ball carrier, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Jim yeah. came in and wrestled it down, but that also blocked his route through. And it meant he'd used the fast piece, which I felt you had to find a plan that didn't, so that you had some recovery. Because now he just gets presumably banged the hell out. Wow, you know, this was that was the game swinging turn, wasn't it? Yeah. If he gets banged, he gets banged. It happens. I mean, a three plus failing Ooh. twice isn't outside the realm of possibility. Jim could score here, right? Then yeah, Jim can still, still score here, yeah. That guy is yeah. in range of scoring. Yep, that's 100% true. And elves, you know, elves, any kind of misfield, any kind of weakness, elves can still take advantage. They don't need many elves to do it. A little bit harder now. Sludge is also off the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly know how he gets that ball to the elf in the end zone, but he has the opportunity to try. Well, details. <laughs> it's even harder now. Yeah. That's Can't go left because it's not safe. Probably. Uh, sorry, the uh, strength ball. Eight. Got a free one day. Oh, oh, oh that's do it. All right, that's 50% of the work done. Well, 33% of the work done. No, and removes the ball carrier. Remember, stall and overtime ball is a possible win condition as well. Where's this ball going, though? Hope is a motherfucker. I, I, yeah, it, it it's really the hope is. that kills you. <laughs> I've always said when Pandora let out the world's evils and then found hope down at the bottom, the it was just because it was the heaviest no. and the fattest <laughs> there we and go. had not left the there box. There you go. No. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> What so taking out the Mr. Shit. Throw, which he then <laughs> appos and puts it onto the Blodge Blitzer instead. That was just Love. written. That was written. That was actually one of the things carved in the stone Moses carried off the mountain. Is that that fucking Blodger was going to catch that ball. <laughs> That's good. That's good. 
Oh, so he's got bloody tackle. Here we go. Whoop. All right, well, yeah, you got blood step on the ball now. Blood step tackle. Yeah, Safety I don't see how well. this gets solved. <laughs> <laughs> Easy game. Details, Easy PC, details. Let's play one play at a time here. Three elves on. Could potentially legally concede. I've just had a sub there seeing all oh, being enough. evil, and I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah, yeah, this has got to feel a little traumatic for you after what you went through earlier. <laughs> Just one of the things I, I experienced with the Chaos Sword as well is that you just, against the strength 4 guard stuff, you feel so fucking overpowered at times. It's a really tough matchup against Orcs for Chaos Dwarves. If you can get on top of them, I mean, the same with most embraces, yeah. you can get on top yeah. of them, you can, you can get it done. Jimmy, tell oh. us about your dominant position right now on the ball here. Double base. How you feeling, baby? I don't know. I just wish... I wish I'd been more balls about using the wizard early, you know, like, I didn't want to use it that turn where... I got two, well, four dice on the ball. Yeah. And I guess I should have done. And then I should have definitely used it the turn after. Like, uh, that was, was a judgment call. Using it the turn after I don't think you were necessarily wrong not to, Jim. I was personally calling for it, but it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is easier to pick up a ball from the ground than it is off an orc. Yes. But I mean, I have to. All you've got to do is move orcs out the way. But the turn after, I don't know, mate. I, yeah, not many people agree alive. with that one. I think Most I of the people to, watching. Because, mm. It's just lost, isn't it? It's just lost from that point on. The game well, at that point, then, maybe a fireball option, and you're yeah. hoping for loads of takedowns so yeah. you can steal the ball and you know, toss it upfield. But it was tough. Yeah. And it's been, you know, tough dice. Yes. Yeah, to be fair, I'd... I mean, he's been very lucky. But... Yeah, I'd suggest in both games we've seen the Orcs rolling. Wait, wait, wait. Lot, wait. He, can't, he can't dodge anywhere. He's going to have to hit him and the ball's stuck. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to dodge. He's, He's fine. Guy. He's absolutely ah, fine. You want to get the ball safe, <laughs> the right? No, no. The ball is safe. No, the ball's, ball's safe. safe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ludicrous, the old-fashioned concept of yours. I mean, yeah, there's a 2D on the ball right now, but who's recovering? <laughs> Well, other than that fast elf yeah. lurking nearby. Well, but yeah, he does I like need that. a good bounce. Yeah. I don't know. Help me in my humble Almost like opinion, he just one of thinks he's completely won. But yes. Heard in my life. I mean, I don't want to tell Jim what to do, but it's obvious that the strength four here. Failing this GFI would go a long Jim way, though. Hit the ball. And then hey. the should hey. the off. Yeah. But... Nope. <laughs> no. Well, still an easy one, easy-ish one die, and other things to kill, of course. Got the power from the troll doesn't kill. Yeah, now we can close the door completely. As I think Yoda ably put it, buggered we are. <laughs> Yeah, I should have. I should have definitely gone for the. Uh, was it that turn? Like I didn't Look, want you. to. I didn't want Coffee, to, to still have the wizard. Yeah. You know? Like I thought I could have still yeah. got it and had the wizard in hand for, to secure it. The turn after or whatever, or like, to break through on the Daka. Like I wasn't certain of being able to stall out my own half anyway and stuff. You know, obviously it one look. Because even if I go one it up, you can make it one one, and then if I don't stall out my half, like. And then when I went for it, when I got the touchback, I went for it because I thought I just got, don't think I can stall it out. You know, I've got so many, I had so many line, unskilled lineals. My fast players were yep. missing next game or already cast out, so I didn't yep. really have a lot of speed or dodge. So I just felt like the dark wasn't going to be possible. And then it was kind of a golden opportunity having the fast player up. So I just thought, yeah, know, no, I thought the quick score it. there. I'd literally just outlined what you did as the possible non dacker option, just how things had ended. Uh, and I wasn't surprised you went for it. I mean, I still thought you'd dacker, but it was a decent shot. You just needed to get that, yeah, the, t the two screen guys through, but luckily he didn't come for the ball, which was doable. The wizard, I mean, no one said you should, should definitely have done it. No one was 100% on that, I think. You got decent multiple dice on the ball with the wizard in hand, and that always feels like a good place to be. So it's not surprising you thought, no, I can still get dice on the ball without the wizard. That's the way to go. Yeah. Um, at the same time, you know, if you do use it there, you may not get the ball, and then you've 
you know, not got your best shot and not got your wizard. So, yeah, I feel for you, but don't beat yourself up. You, you, you took what anyone would consider a decent shot on the ball. Yeah. And of course, you know, you wizard it, it probably lands in a, an orc's hands right next to the bloody ball carrier. And then you're no further forwards. In fact, it could be further back if it bounces somewhere awful. So, you know, saying the other option would definitely be better. Of course, he leaves a bloody one DR. Yeah, Unpunished. Exactly. I mean, I thought it was good enough. But I guess I, I, guess I shouldn't have thought it was good enough. Like, considering how bad, I, like, I knew how bad the matchup was, despite the crazy predictions for me in Daiwa's Discord. I thought it was a horrible matchup, and you know I thought it was all going to be down to the wizard turn. But then when he gave us such a good chance without the wizard, I thought, ooh. But yeah, I shouldn't have done. I should have just thought. Yeah, I I, I was assuming done. runaway tactics and wizard. Here's at what the you do. Earliest possible opportunity. Message him. Say take it to overtime or no balls. It was the <laughs> balls. We'll take it to overtime. Like nothing, nothing to be lost by saying it. Fight me. Fight me if you dare. Well, your, your dignity. Your dignity gets lost. No, not at all. Not at all. You're baiting your opponent in. To El, a bad when, play. You, when you have a loss, you just take the loss and you move on. It's it's yeah. fine. But it's funny the way you lose. You win every game of Blood Bowl. That isn't something that should happen. So if, it's fine to sometimes lose. If only Fan Fox had gotten, you know, got, be, been a natural before the playoffs, you know, maybe I should have kept playing the game because. Yeah. Yeah. If he's a natural, then I just score there, and it's why. Well, except he got the blitz. <laughs> so I would yeah. have done. Yeah, but, you know, if my auntie had a cock, she'd be my uncle. I mean, if I'd played ten more games on the dwarves, perhaps I'd have had four stand firm, a couple of blodge pieces. But I didn't. So you use what you've got, and you do your best. You see what happens. Yeah, but I, mean, I, don't, I made you don't the see call, the huge. That's the thing. Yes, but I don't see a huge point in recriminations. I mean, just next time, think. Okay, this time I'm going to try and really build a team, but not care if it doesn't get to chalice. Yeah, well, just then run over that gypsy's cat. Maybe, was, maybe the problem was with that. It was the last week one. Um, you know, if it hadn't been last week, I'd have definitely put the games on them. But it wasn't. It was. It was in the last week, so I didn't have a lot of time to. Uh, yeah. You know, if if I, if I lost a couple of games, I didn't have the time. Well, to play there we go. Try, get the, you know, play. If, get five more wins or whatever, or like you know, play out. You know, even ten games to get. And so far, your uh, your quarterfinal lineups consist of um, Tigolo with a, a very I, large I've, I've got a go. Team. Unlucky Jim. Uh, see you for Rally Cross later, mate. Bye, Elp. Bye, bye. Bye, Elp. Yes, see you later, Orcs, bye. Orcs and Orcs are the first two winners. And, now uh, that he's gone, Coffee, I can stand to answer your point. Um, <laughs> Elp, I, I do think if Sean of Fault Force and surrounded by people perhaps a little more focused upon the Blood Bowl. I think he does add and bring stuff to the commentary team. I think a couple of the games I've done with him here in the booth have been fine. 33 blocks, 23 armor breaks, completely normal. Yeah. <laughs> Nine well, kills, three kills. You got orked. It'll yeah. happen again. Yeah. Help me, in my humble opinion, oh, one of that, the that best was a game, commentators sort of. that I've ever heard in my <laughs> yeah. life. Well, we've had two not particularly games so far. Do you want to have a look at the third that's on today? The other... Is Sindane Russian do. too? Is it triple Russian today? Yep, I will do. But first, let's wrap up the YouTube. Oh, thank sorry. You, thank you very, very much, Skuramitso and Purple Chest and Meme. Uh, very nice of you to come on so I could concentrate for what it was worth for like the three turns that it mattered. Um, <laughs> but no, thank you very much guys and thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic